everyone planning to go into the field of medicine must have a good understanding of anatomical directions, anatomical planes, and motions of the joints. Here we have a free course that is available to anyone that needs it. Uh, it's located on insightmedical.com and please feel free to distribute it to your friends and neighbors. It has an easy to use menu describing how to use this course. The three assistants that will help you through the course um, and the learning objectives of the course. It begins with general information talking about the standard anatomical position for a man and woman um, and then body symmetry, bilateral symmetry and then goes into the different regions of the body. And at the end of this section we have a recap of what we've learned and then a simple quiz um, that if you make an error provides you with hints and then make sure you get the right answer until you move on to the other sections. Some body structures are not contained within a region. Um, let's say that's true and it says one purpose to define regions is to localize body structures so it must be false and it is. And then here we have to click on the right foot to proceed. Many beginners click on this foot and it's on their right, but we learn that uh, left and right are always defined with respect to the patient. And this goes on for a while, and when, it, when we're ready, we can move on to the next section. It's a little more interesting. Directions, locations, and planes. Um, and here we can talk about um, the sagittal plane, for example, with the aid of a simple animation, an interactive animation, we can convey a much stronger idea of what the sagittal plane is. And it's accompanied by a CT uh, of the uh, sagittal uh, cranium. And it, the same thing is true for the coronal plane um, and the transverse plane. And the transverse plane, we have a section from an actual PET scan that makes it a little more real when you see uh, the plane corresponding to an actual imagery. Uh, we talk about uh, proximal and distal in the same manner with an animation. We're moving proximally and then we're moving distally. This kind of interactivity really hammers home the point. And again for this section we've got a recap and a short quiz. And now we get into the special motions of the joint such as flexion and extension. The motions are off, uh, always uh, portrayed in pairs, so you have flexion in one direction and extension in the opposite direction. And here you can see Jessica going through uh, flexion and extension for several joints. We do the same thing for abduction and adduction, which makes it much easier to understand through simple animations and interactivity than simply looking at pictures. We can talk about things like the hip range of motion, which might be a little difficult to understand uh, just looking at still images, but here we get to actually uh, play with it a bit. And again, the varus and valgus uh, motions and pressures on the knee are difficult to understand, but here we have our varus motion, here we have our valgus motion, and uh, it, it cemented into the brain quite quickly. We go into special terms of the hand and foot. We look at the dorsal and palmar aspects of the hand, dorsal and plantar aspects of the foot. Uh, we look at dorsiflexion and plantar flexion with the aid of our interactive uh, animation again. And we can look at eversion and inversion, difficult uh, concepts to understand but made simple through interactive animation. And then you get a final exam. This time um, you're not given hints and you're graded uh, the first time through. Correct. Okay, next. How many joints are flexing and extending? Well, there are two. Correct again. 
and click on the sagittal plane to proceed. And if you miss that, oops, you don't get scored. Another great feature here is the glossary, which pronounces uh, each word as you click on it. And there's quite a few terms, hopefully all of the terms that are um, contained in the course. If we go back to the course, we see that there's additional features at the bottom. The glossary again, a community blog where people can uh, d d discuss their feelings uh, and hopefully make suggestions to improve the course. Free image gallery, uh, a contact email, and then we can jump to more uh, insight courses. Okay, that uh, that's a quick run over of this. Remember, it's totally free. Um, share it with everybody you'd like, and uh, if you'd like a custom course, uh, you can talk to our sister company, Interact Medical, uh, and thank you much for your time.